Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here with the Holy Roller playing craps on a cruise to earn a free cruise. And today we're gonna roll out the all day strategy. Here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. All right, all day strategy. Please watch the video of my first video about all day strategy if you haven't seen that. But I wanted to roll it out again and uh, we're gonna use $500. If you go up and you buy in for $500 and you ask for all green, they'll probably try to give you some red and all that stuff. You don't need any of that. You just need all green. Because I'm gonna do the all day strategy with $100 per shooter. Now normally you would want to do, um, if you're gonna use $100 per shooter, you wanna times that by 10, so you'd want $1,000. But because it's an all day strategy, uh, we're gonna only use half the bankroll. We're gonna have enough for five shooters if we lose a hundred every shooter, but I don't think I don't think you'll be able to lose that much. But the modification that I have is uh, putting fifty dollars on the don't to start. Now, if if it was if I was walking up to a table and I just didn't know how the table was going, I probably wouldn't start here. I would actually do uh, two come bets. Then I would start and go through the uh, DC for the $50, okay? So I'm going to do a couple different versions. So right now we're going to go through the DC on the first one. And then on the second one, we'll go through the DP or the don't pass, okay? So here we go. Let's get a point established. There's a six. So the point is six. And now we're just going to go $25 coming. Here we go. And it's a seven. All right. So that pays. $25. Okay. Now look, we have our hundred back. I'm going to put this on the other side of our bankroll over there. And now we have our hundred for the next shooter. All right. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. We're, uh, again, we're going to go. Uh, so you can see this is kind of the table. Maybe we should do it. <laughs> uh, there's a nine. We, maybe we should do a don't pass if this happens again, but here, let's go uh, to the, to the come and see what happens. There's a six. All right, so now with the six, it goes to the six. So if you don't know about the come versus the pass line, is the come bet is the same as the pass line, but instead of the puck moving, the money moves. So because we rolled a nine, the puck move, we have to roll a nine for that to win. And because we rolled a six, the money moves, and we have to roll a six for that to win. All right, here we go. And it is a six. All right. Oh, you know, we would have been out one more time. I'm so sorry about that. We would have been out one more time. That would have been what's called off and on. They would have just paid us just like that because they wouldn't move everything. Let's put this quarter over here and let's roll again. All right, there's a nine. So we did win. This goes to the nine. This goes off. Now we are at risk because those are on. We need to come out six or a come out nine on this next roll. If a seven comes, we lose that 50. Normally, I would try to hedge it in some way, but I don't need to because we won 50. So this is free money out there. Let's hope we get a six or a nine. And it is a nine. That's a good roll. And what that means is this comes down and gets paid. So we're going to put this in our rack here and we're just going to keep that going. So the point is nine again. All right, here we go. And it's a six. Wow, this is perfect. And don't expect it to work like this all the time, but off and on, they call it off and on. So I'm going to put that over there. And so let's roll again. And it's another six. Man, okay. I kind of don't want this to work that good right now. I want to show you what happens <laughs> when other things happen. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's going to move to the four. Now we're going to go with our other two. And we're going to put it in the DC or don't come. That wins on two, three, pushes on 12. It loses on seven and 11. So this is our most vulnerable moment right here. Big vulnerable moment. Here we go. Four. <laughs> Man, everything is working. So this goes behind the four, okay? And then this gets paid for the four, okay? Then we're going to take this and put it here. Now we're going to have another coming. So the idea is four units. We want to have four units all the time. Here we go. Four units in play. All right, so here we go. This goes to the five. We want a five or a six. We want no four. Here we go. And there's a three. 
and there's a seven. All right, so what happens with that is this loses, and then this one gets paid over here with even money, and then it gets paid back to us for 100. This is our original 100 that we're still playing with, and we have 150 in our win pile. Like I said, it doesn't happen like this all the time, but it's great when it does. It's great when it does. All right, now let's, let's do it the other way. Okay, we're gonna start off with, with uh, $50 on the don't pass. No seven, no 11 right here. Oh, there's the seven. So that's the that's a disadvantage, but it, if we were going through there, we can have a seven two. So now you might say, okay, you have four units per shooter. You just lost two. What do you do with these extra two? What I would do with those extra two is I would just let them roll something, okay? I would never pay, play the pass on this strategy. Uh, the, the come bets are the pass line for this strategy. So uh, there's a four. So now we're out on the four. The other one was an 11. And so now we just I would just go like this. Boom, here we go. And so there's a nine. So now I'm kind of playing from behind. I view every shooter uh, at or every round or every session, not session round shooter, whatever. Uh, every time the puck is on is a new thing. So that's why this is still over here. I'm not gonna pull from there. I got two units with this with this uh, with this shooter, okay? And, um, and so I'm, I'm using them for the two. I'm playing the light side pretty much. The other way you could play it, because you only have two left, is you can just go through the DC with that one. Okay, so here we go. And it's a three. Good choice, don't you think? Now, because I win this and I lost the 50 over here last time, I'm putting this right here for now I have three units for this shooter rather than just two, because I lost two, but I won one back, okay? Anything above four, that's when I start putting it on the other side of the rack, okay? Here we go, let's see if we can get, oh, the seven, wow. So we lost this one and this one. So that that shooter, uh, we have one unit left. I'm gonna just put it in this side, and then we're gonna start with another shooter. So that's how I would do the, uh, the all day strategy is um you know just kind of let's see let's start with this we'll start with a fifty dollars on the don't uh here we go oh my goodness <laughs> another one happened another one all right so now we're just going to get a point established there's another seven good thing we didn't go out again on that oh my goodness and here is a five so the point is five and now we're going to go on the uh the come bet here here we go and it is a five okay so that goes to the five this wins and now we're on a come out again so let's see if we can get a come out all right there's a four so the point is four now and we want a five but we're gonna go just like that see what happens and it's a six all right usually on a six and eight I do no action on a six and eight um, because this would normally go behind and you would win on a seven, lose on a six. This would win on a five, lose on a seven. So that's kind of like a break even move. But I'm gonna do no action. You can, it doesn't have to move. So you could say no action on the six and eight. So let's see if we can get another, there's a better one, a 10. <laughs> so this would go behind the 10. And so now we want no 10, but we do want a five. So let's get a five shooter. And there's a seven out, all right. So what happens is this one loses and this one wins. And so we win and we have 50. So again, with that shooter, we didn't win any money. I'm putting this 50. So I started with 100, I got to 50. The first one, I started with 100, I got to 150. So, you know, it's so right now we're still up by like $25. <laughs> so that's why this strategy is called all day. All right, let's take four more units. And let's try it again. Okay, so another shooter. And on this one, if if I was the shooter, uh, so let's say I'm the shooter this time, I would straight up go right here just like this if I'm the shooter. Like some people say, never, I only bet the pass line if I'm shooting, but on everybody else I play the don't pass. I mean, don't do that. Just play what you play, no matter who's shooting. And if you're shooting, and this is your play, play it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and it's a seven. <laughs>
<laughs> and then everybody at the table's laughing at you. Oh, I can't believe he did that. All right, so what would you do at this point? Well, now because we used our don't, we have to do, we have to do the pass line, okay? Um, and so I don't want to, but man, <laughs> there's a four. It would be a four. Oh my goodness. And so now at this point, I'm going up here like this because I want to, I, you have to play both sides. And so there's a 12, that's a push that doesn't do anything. And there's a seven. Wow. So we lost on that shooter. We lost a hundred. So yeah, we're down here. Next shooter coming out with another hundred. Okay. We were the shooter. <laughs> we, we, we shot. So now somebody else is shooting. So you might say, are you going to do that? Uh, I want to show you it. So let's do it. I'm back out on the don't because uh, we've been burned enough. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So there's 50 back to us. I'm putting it over on this side. Okay, here we go. And it is a nine. All right. So now we're going against the nine and we're going to go uh, to the combat. Here we go. Let's see. And it's a 10. All right. So this moves to the 10. And we're going to do another comeback. Here we go. And it is a seven. All right. Now, this is actually a good time for the seven because we do lose the 10. It wins here. And we win 50 here. So then that is uh, our 100 and another 50. And, and remember, we did lose. But so let's, let's just do this. Let's put that there. And let's play with our, our last 100 for our last shooter. Um, and so here we go. We're going to do it one more time and we're going straight up on the don't. Here we go. And it is a four. All right. So now we're against the four and we're going to go to the combat. Here we go. And it is a nine. So that moves to the nine and we'll do another combat. Here we go. And that is a 10. So we go to the 10. So this moves to the 10. Now we want a nine or a 10 shooter. And there's a nine. So that's great because that comes down and gets paid. And then we're going to put this over here on this side because we have our four units right there. All right. And the seven. All right. And that's a good time for the seven. So because this loses, this wins, and then we get 50 there. And then we rack it up and see where we're at. We won $100. We're $100 up. Okay. And then this is why they call it all day because I would just take the 500 and start over for, and I'd just keep going and I'd have a hundred that I know I'm walking away with, but you can see all of that, even though all those losses we had, when we hit the point, when we hit the dome, everything that happened, we're still up $100 and everything I just did in this video would have been well over an hour, which would have got you hopefully about a hundred uh, points per hour. And uh, if you did this for, you know, four hours a night on a cruise, you get 1,200 points. That's a free cruise. And that's why I, sometimes I play all day. And thanks for watching. <laughs> and watch this video if you'd like to know more. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. See ya.